welcome back to my channel guys today i'm going to show you guys how to make a quick simple hearty lamb stew and dumplings recipe if you are new here please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss a single recipe from me all the measurements and the quantities will be in the description box below so to start off with we're going to start off by making our dough for our dumplings so i'm going to add some cake flour not self raising cake flour into my mixer if you don't have a mixer you can also do this by hand so we're just going to be adding the cake flour as I said next I'm going to be adding some sugar then we're going to add some salt and lastly we will then be adding our yeast so I am going to also be adding a little bit of butter in this um mixture as well then i'm just going to start up my mixer so the nice thing about my mixer is i can add liquids while it's already turning if you're doing this by hand then you want to gradually add in your water so the quantity of water will be in the description box you just want to gradually add it in and you will knead it until your dough is no longer sticky and it's nice and soft like what you see here so when i say it's no longer sticky you can see it's not really sticking onto the bowl anymore at the bottom and that's what we want so from this point onwards we're then going to prepare our dough to uh, poof so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to be adding some oil on the surface just on top a little bit and then just a little bit on the sides just to make it easier for it to rise then i'm going to cling wrap that and then i'm also going to put a dishcloth over it and i'm going to set it in a warm environment um, for about 30 minutes while i prepare the lamb so next you've got lamb which is already cut and sectioned into small pieces i'm adding that into my pan and i'm going to be browning this in my pan Pan. so you're just going to be sauteing it basically until it's nice and brown on all sides so it will start to look like this and then you're just going to remove this from your pot and then we're going to continue to build up the sauce for our lamb so at this point I have removed my lamb and then I'm going to start off by adding some oil I am using garlic infused oil um, but you're more than welcome to use any type of oil that you have on hand I've added some white onion or brown onion as it's called and then also some crushed or minced garlic and then i'm just sauteing that um, until it's translucent a pro tip here is if you're sauteing onions try and add some salt in the beginning so that your onions are also well seasoned it really does change um, a lot on the flavor profiling and then i've just added some bay leaf and then i'm going to be adding some curry paste so i find that when i use curry paste it's just much easier because i don't have to use a lot of spices the curry paste that i'm using is from patco so I'm just adding that in there and I'm continuing to saute it and this is what it needs to look like at the end of the day. So at this point, I'm going to then add some tomato paste. I'm going to give that a mix just so that it's nice and evenly combined. Then I'm going to crush in some chicken stock. You're also welcome to dissolve your chicken stock in hot water outside, but I just find that it does the same thing if I add it into the pot anyway. So I've crushed two um, chicken stock in this case is what I'm using for my lamb. And then I've just added my hot water and then I'm going to give that a mix just to make sure that all my chicken stock dissolves nicely in there. I'll allow that to simmer for about five minutes and then I've added my lamb back into the pot. Now I'm also going to be adding some rosemary. And then we're going to allow that to cook for about 30 minutes. So after about 30 minutes, this is what our stew is looking like. It's nice and well cooked through. Then I'm going to be adding some cabbage. So the cabbage is an optional um, ingredient, but I find that when I add the cabbage, it just makes it even more wholesome. So I've added some cabbage on top, and then I'm going to allow that to wilt down and cook for about 10 minutes. 
so after 10 minutes this is what the stew is looking like you'll also start to see that your sauce is also starting to thicken up in the process so now we're going to move over and look back at our uh, dumplings and just see how they've come along and then we're going to shape them so you can see that our dough has risen and basically at this point you're going to oil your hands on both sides just to make it easier for you to work with the dough and then you're going to shape it into some nice circles like this and then you're going to place it inside your pan at this point i did add half a cup of water just so that my dumplings can steam and not finish off the sauce of the stew that i've created so i've just added about half a cup of water at this point so you're going to add your dumplings in there make sure that they are evenly spaced and they are not crowding each other in there because remember they are going to still um rise while they're cooking so you're going to let that cook for about 30 minutes and then you can come back after 30 minutes and check and check if it is cooked through using a toothpick Okay, once you've confirmed that you're basically done at this point i'm just garnishing mine with some fresh coriander and yes this is what it looks like it's a quick simple and easy recipe if you are new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss a single recipe from me comment in the comment section like and i'll see you next time bye